Hi, I'm Denison, creator of Marine Diesel Basics, the first visual guide to marine diesel systems. In this video, we'll explore how the piston controls the opening and closing of the intake and exhaust valves on a mechanical diesel engine, through what's known as the valve train. To breathe, an engine needs to inhale oxygen and exhale exhaust gases. It does this through opening and closing the intake and exhaust valves according to the position of the piston. The piston, going up and down, drives the crankshaft. The piston is connected to the crankshaft by the connecting rod, by which the vertical movement of the piston becomes the circular motion of the crankshaft. So we have the crankshaft turned by the movement of the piston, and the valves opening and closing at the right moment. But how do they do this? By the use of cams, which are eccentrically egg-shaped, they convert the rotary motion back into ups and downs. As the cam turns, the push rod goes up and down. So the cam converts the rotary motion into up and down motion. If we add a rocker arm to the top of the push rod and a fulcrum at one end, when the cam pushes the push rod up, the end of the rocker arm will fall. This up and down motion opens and closes the valves. As the cam turns, the push rod goes up, the rocker arm comes down, the valve opens and the spring is compressed. As the cam continues to turn, the push rod comes down, the rocker arm goes up and the spring closes the valve again. If we add cams at different positions on a cam shaft, one cam for each valve, and orientated to be pushing up a push rod or allowing it to fall, all the valves will open and close independently, driven by a single cam shaft. So to recap, up and down of the piston turns the crankshaft. The rotation of the crankshaft turns the camshaft, and the cams on the camshaft open the valves or allow them to close by the leverage of the rocker arm. Obviously, the crankshaft and the camshaft need to be synchronised with each other and with the injection pump, and this is done by either a timing belt or a timing gear. But we'll cover those in another video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I wish you fair winds and a reliable diesel.